Sans
there. What is that thing?
It's September 12th, 1987. My name is Major Alan Schaefer, also known as Dutch, U.S. Army veteran, Special Ops Commander, and the only survivor of the Valverde incident. These tapes are my personal testimony. Insurance. Should anything happen to me, what I found won't be lost. My team was brought in to rescue a Guatemala cabinet minister and his aide, who had been captured by guerrilla forces in Valverde. We located the downed helicopter and the skinned bodies of those aboard, hung in nearby trees, seemingly at the hands of guerrilla fighters. After assaulting their camp, it became clear that the mission was a setup. American intelligence had sent us to retrieve the captured agents who had been on recon for future military action. But none of that matters, because while we were clearing out the guerrillas, something was hunting us. An invisible kill attracted us as we made our way to the extraction point. In 24 hours, it wiped out my entire team. Rick Hawkins, Blaine Cooper, Mac Elliott, Billy Soul, Jorge Ramirez and Al Dillon, the best soldiers I've ever known. Men I trusted with my life were butchered like animals. It was a nightmare. We walked in with guns, but it had perfect camouflage, advanced weaponry, and could see heat. It was strong and smart, a pitiless hunter. I waited, I watched, and when I understood it, when I saw how it hunted, I killed it. As it lay dying, in a final fuck you, it activated an explosive device. I barely escaped that blast. My radiation sickness and the crater of the explosion are the only evidence it ever was here. I have given my official statement to Agent Peter Keys of the OWLF, but it's become clear. I needed to investigate Valverde myself. Keys were thorough, but he asked all the wrong questions. I mean, we have proof of alien life, but that life sees us as game. It's an alien whose first contact with humanity was to hunt us for sport. All Keys cared about was the technology lost in the explosion. He can see the jungle for the trees. I see the threat. He sees the opportunity. Spies are all the same. I mean, we aren't people to them, we are assets. How many soldiers would he feed to those monsters just for a chance to steal from them or to learn from them? The government can't be trusted. So I will have to do this on my own. I'm cutting my treatment short and going off the grid. I will make my way back to South America to Valverde. I was told that there were stories about demons who make trophies of man. I'd like to hear those stories. Know how long this is going to take? Hang, hang tight, hang tight. We just got to get this thing recording. I'm a foreign national being held unlawfully. You have no jurisdiction. Look, look, okay, you were right. Legally speaking, we had no right to enter Mexican airspace, no right to confiscate exotic materials, and no right to detain you. This is a black site. Yes, ma'am. United States. It could be Canada. Climate's wrong, and your accents. Smart. <laughs> well, Miss Nissenbaum. Sergeant Major. Sergeant Major Isabel Abigail Nissenbaum. Numerous commendations, though no mention of total confirmed kills, which I'm guessing is rather high. It is. But then there's this last note. Current status, absent without leave. Now, why would someone with an impressive service record decide to go AWOL? I was taken. Taken? Abducted. Mm-hmm. That little buggy you landed proves as much. Sergeant Major, I believe you've had contact with an aggressive alien civilization, one whose culture is deeply saturated in the ritual hunting of other intelligent species. Like in Guatemala. Well, we're aware of the Valverde incident. I'm surprised you are. Where it gets around. 
Horde of alien manhunters wiping out special ops in the jungle gets around? Unlikely. I'm guessing you're a wet work type. Assassins tend to have unsavory friends with classified intel. I wouldn't know. Sergeant uh, Isabel, look, look. We already have the ship. The only thing I want from you is your story. After that, we'll fly you home, first class, hot towels, and the whole shebang. Why should I trust you? Because we're trying to stop them. And by the look of the inventory in that ship, so were you. Alien jawbones, thermal netting, predator armor, <laughs> and a bolt-action sniper rifle. Ballistic says it's been fired a lot. All right, Sergeant Major. Cards on the table. We're a task force directed by the United States government to assess and respond to a very real alien threat. One that attacked first and continues to do so with impunity. How many have been on Earth? That's classified. More than one? Five? Ten? A hundred? Too many. You don't know. Well, I know you've killed one. Likely more. I know you commandeered an alien spacecraft and successfully piloted it back to Earth. <laughs> I'd like to know more. I'm also one of a select few on this planet who will believe you. We... Uh, I promise I will do everything I can to take what you tell me and use it against these monsters. Fine. Go ahead. Where were you? when you were abducted. I was on a mission. And what were you doing in the moments before your abduction? Hiding. Care to elaborate? No. <sighs> okay. Describe being abducted. During the course of the mission, I slept. When I woke up, I was falling, like in a nightmare. You fell asleep, and then you were falling. It was a parachute insertion. Like a halo jump. By the time I realized what was happening, the chute opened on its own. I thought I'd wake up, but I didn't. It was real. From that elevation, could you recognize anything? No. There was only jungle. Sergeant Major Nissenbaum, in your estimation, during the time of your abduction, do you believe you were on Earth? No, I do not. <laughs> 